What's good everybody, this is Cerebral Final 4, and it is time to show the might of uh, Magnezone, Zacian V, and Dialga GX actually, because that's the real win condition of this deck, I would say. Any sort of a uh, Metal Magnezone deck that I've made, it's basically that guy that's going to give you that super advantage that is exclusive basically to these decks, uh, exclusive to Dialga GX. I mean, there's a lot of other great and really overpowered GX attack. Looking at the Arsis one is the greatest example. Or something like the Guzzlord Naganado one from the same set. But Dialga GX, that ability to skip your opponent's turn, is just too good to pass up to. But anyways, I'm going to open up with this uh, Solgalia here. It's a good little opening Pokemon. Uh, the problem is, is that we don't really have much else going on. I don't like that I don't have a supporter. But, I mean, we do have the Quick Ball, Evolution and Sense, and I guess the Magnuson and Rare Candy. So with a little luck, I could bring out Magnuson quick. But let's see what my opponent is doing. I opened up with Jirachi and played down another Jirachi too. So already used up a switch, it would seem. And as he played down that Volcanion, uh, this is pretty much some sort of fire deck, no doubt. Now, I'm fortunate enough to top deck the... Jasmine here, which usually if I play second and I see this, I know that I've got a good game on my hands. I mean, it's just really obvious. It gives you a great advantage. In this case, I'm going to be able to add the both of the Magnemites. So we're good when it comes to those. Got two, so we're safe with those. Get the Zacian for additional drawing. And even Duraludon, I guess, is another metal Pokemon that I could use. Um, we can't really search the Dialga GX. Uh, with Jasmine. There is a Dialga GX that's still around, that of course, it's the same as this one, the Dragon one. Same attacks, just same everything, stats, it's just that it's a metal type. But I like this Dragon Full Art one better, and the fact that it's a Dragon gives me a little bit of a different weakness, I guess. So that's why I run him. But I guess in this case, with Jasmine, you know, it, it would have been nice if we could have grabbed it with Jasmine. Anyways, so... I'm going to search out the other Magnusons that I don't draw it with my Interpret Sword there. Just use the Evolution and Sense, gather the Evolution Pokemon. And we got a pretty good turn here, thanks to Jasmine and Zacian. So, unless my opponent uses Marnie, I'm going to get out both Magnezone and a Magneton out. And we've got the Erigot too, I can use that to draw. And even if we don't manage to use that because of a big hand. Uh, I know that I, I'm at least in a good position. We'll, eventually we'll get there. Both of us are still in that setup process. It's like a battle of the mind, you could say. Uh, strategic setting up for both players. Uh, I know that I gotta get the Magnezones out, start gathering the energies, and get the right attack right front. And he knows that he needs to start playing welders and stuff. Now, it looks like this is a a Cinderace deck, uh, at least that's what I would think since he played that guy down. Um, it, it's kind of unfortunate, I'm pretty sure he would have liked to play second too and get that plus with Volcanion. Uh, that is an amazing plus you can get when you play second with that guy and get three fire energies for free. But it's my turn, let's get the Magnezone out. Let us get the Magneton out too, so um, I think I'm pretty safe when it comes to the Magnezones. Um, they're almost going to be out. And, uh, let's see, you know what? I wonder if I should use, I am going to go for the Quick Ball, actually. Discard the Dene. My bench is pretty full. Even if somebody dies, I don't think I want to see, I, I would want to play uh, the Dene right now down, because we, we got a good setup. What I want is to thin out the deck and start drawing energies. Now, we didn't. We just got this uh, Capture Energy. It's not going to be great, but I can at least put it on Dialga. Uh, no metal energies yet, or like uh, energy spinners or what have you. So keep keep using Interpret Sword. Eventually, I will get there, though. Eventually. We'll play the consistency cards, you could say. We'll use up the candies and all these cards. And then eventually, I'll get to where I want to be. It is kind of uh, annoying that I didn't get an attack off yet since I've got the Magnezone. But it is what it is. We kind of put ourselves sort of in a stuck position. Sometimes it can happen. 
when you get too much shit. Uh, my opponent does have the center race ready though. I think he evolved it into the V there it is, the VMAX. Now, technically I would have had like a disadvantage in this case since it's fire versus metal, but I mean uh, I guess the Zacian V would survive Center Race's V Max attack even with the burn. So that will suck. But to be honest, it's not even gonna be the real star. Uh, we wanna get the Dialga GX attack. And that's really going to be the advantage, uh, the real advantage from that Pokemon. And then I can use everybody else and just make a clear out. Alright, so that guy's ready. He also put the Burn Scarf on him. It's whatever. Burning Scarf, I think that's what it's called. Goes for the switch, so now he's finally going to be able to attack. It's actually great that he killed the uh, Solgaleo for me. Now I don't have to worry about moving it out of the way. And now we can just go straight to Dialga GX. So evolve into the other Magnezone. And the Cherish Ball, I know that I don't have anything over there, so just use it, get out of the way. Use my uh, Tool Scrapper too, and uh, let's discard, uh, you know what, you, and get the Magnemite. The reason that I'm doing this is just I'm thinning the deck because I know that I'm going to use uh, uh, Magnolia now. So play down the uh, uh, wool and just try and draw as many cards. And uh, just barely, okay, we got the energies. Exactly three with the spinner. But that's it, precisely what I need. Just enough energies to make my attack off. And then we'll get to play second. We'll play another time anyway. So there's the big GX attack. Uh, let me use the other quick ball too, just call the rare candy. And let's get Elder. Oh, let's get Cremorant actually, because I might play that down and get a snipe. So, Timeless GX, there it is, the GX attack. Doing some heavy softening up on the Center Race as a VMAX Pokemon, even a 150 isn't enough. And I wouldn't be able to finish it off with like a shred on the Stage 1 GXs. You know, I could have just do the GX attack, then do a shred, and it would have been a KO. And when we had, like, the choice ban, it was even better. Uh, but now, you gotta, gotta use the big dude. So Zacian V is gonna come for the finishing touch. But the great thing is that my opponent is loses his best attacker, and it doesn't really have any other guy ready. Uh, gonna use Marnie too, so there goes your big hand. You're gonna have to work with much fewer cards. And that's basically the situation. The advantage you get from Dialga GX. Always showing this off in my matches. Uh, so there's our Zacian V. Getting the KO. And three prizes. I'm halfway there. So it's really good. And even if he does kill, you know, the Zacian, I'm going to be at like three prizes. He's going to be at three prizes, what I mean to say. So then Dubwool can swoop in and put in some heavy damage. Okay, so naturally he promotes the Jirachi there. It's the least risk. And it's going to give him the chance to search. Uh, quick Ball. I'm guessing he's going to get another one of his attackers. But he actually got uh, Dedene. So there's the Cinderace down. And Dedene draw six. Will you get what you need? I mean... He definitely needs to play Welders if he's going to power up that other Cinderace or just somebody else. Uh, he gets Melalana. Hmm. And now, Stellar Wish. Like, it's not going to be... We can't really get an, any other sort of a exact KO and finish the game off. If he gets Cinderace out, I can't exactly get a one-hit knockout on that Pokemon. But we do have the boss's orders, and he's got that Dedene GX too. So maybe the best thing for me to do is just kill one of the smaller guys, then target down the Dedene, and finish this game off. But we could always just try and, I guess, attack the uh, Cinderace. I mean, it depends on what happens. I got the Ordinary Rod, so I could recycle the Zacian V back in the deck if it dies. I guess the thing with the 
Dialga is that once you do use that GX attack, you know, he, he kind of becomes uh, too weak. Like, he can't really contribute much into the game. Yes, that shred attack is useful, that overclock attack is useful, but that's only like in certain situations, like overclock in the beginning, and shred if you're playing some sort of slow stall opponent, and you can get through effects, and you know you can take your attacks. But like if I put the Diago GX in the active position, he's just going to die, and doing 80 damage isn't really enough. But I'm actually going to save the Zacian, and... We can uh, use the uh, Duraludon. Duralu you know what? I'm, I'm actually going to go for Boss's Orders and use the Zacian. So just going to target down this guy. He didn't even evolve. So I'm just checking him out of the game like this completely. Um, I, I could have used the Duraludon to kill the Jirachi, power up that dude. But since he didn't evolve into the Cinderace, this is just a must KO. So now I'm down to one prize, and my opponent, of course, surrendered. I mean, he couldn't really do anything. Uh, this was our game, taking out his main attacker before he had a chance to do, to make another meaningful push with him. So GG. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. Hope you guys subscribe, leave a like, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you guys on the next one. What say?